So, Ethel James and uh, Whitney Houston uh, are the recent um, deaths. And uh, it seems as if uh, Ethel James uh, has had a different approach. It was open casket and the whole nine yards. Now, uh, I'm not sure about the Whitney's case because, you know, it was a secret thing. I'm not sure whether in the fury it was open as this picture might have been, but in the funeral it might have been locked. I think the same thing with Michael Lott. And, uh, you see, again, I go back to this thing. I mean, what, what's wrong with these celebrities, man? They feel that they're not humans again, even at death. Like, they just leave a will to the parents to do this, or, or, or the significant people, or whatever, or they of themselves to say, oh, this man, or this woman's so precious, we're going to do something, like, whatever. Um, I, I, I mean, uh, people are free to do what they want, okay? But, I mean, when they're public like this, uh, I mean, it's the public that supported them and, and give them this name and this celebrity status. If we just ignore them, like many of uh, those who came on to us, uh, you know, and just throw a word with them, you wouldn't have this kind of uh, controversy today. Um, she would have died in, in uh, um, sometime in uh, New Jersey, then gone away and nobody would have even cared. But we supported her, we liked her music, we played her art, we bought her videos and her um, CDs and so forth. And um, now she's dead, they, they, they're keeping us out. Now, um, yeah, I know Michael Jackson, of course, too, had a close casket. And I can understand his situation that at, at, at his latter state, he was a white man. And he was a white man. And uh, death is something else, you know, when the body starves, you begin to get blue, and then blue turn black, and then, you know, it's going to look like, is this Michael here, or this is uh, somebody as me, or, or some other uh, Negro, you know? But anyway, um, I don't think uh, Whitney had any problems. She just drowned. I mean, uh, you know, it is normal. I mean, she changed her color or get fat in her face. And you find her, like, four months after she died, and, and the body is stink, and so you have to cover it up and, and use a whole bunch of different chemicals to keep the scent down and so forth to make the little uh, funeral a little pleasant and so forth. So, um, you know, Ethel James uh, basically should be the standard. Um, we must see these celebrities in life and in death. They must stop treating us like if we're uh, aliens or if we're some kind of heathens or something, or some pagans. We all have the same religion. We like your genre, we like your music, we like you, we like you, we like you, uh, we supported you. We give you all this big life, and then we want to see you in death too. We want to support you in death, not only in life. We want to support you in death. Uh, whether you're ugly or you're, you're pretty or whatever, we love you. Because many people are telling Michael, you know, Michael, we, we we like you. We like the old Michael, you know. But he and, and some people thought that the new Michael was much much more dynamic, and perhaps this is what might have led his death. You know, all the guilt trips and all the pains and all that stuff from the various surgeries and so on. And uh, the skin treatments and so forth, it becomes so tender, you can't sit down properly, you can't even walk, you can't even lie down and sleep properly and so forth. And so, uh, you know, we, we need to be treated better, and uh, Ethel James should be the standard bearer right here.